You know, and I seen you said like you and Bubba, you guys were clean, you know, uh, you know, no drugs and stuff like that, right? I mean, what was your take on like because I know one point, and I still don't know. I mean, wrestlers still doing steroids and stuff like that. Is that still a thing? It's impossible for that to happen because of the drug testing. I mean, there's legit drug testing going on right now. I can't speak for other organizations, AEW, NWA. Um, anything like that, but I do know WWE tests you on a regular basis, and then sometimes you get surprised. You walk up into the building, you can't go to the locker room, you can't go anywhere. You gotta go right to the to the doc to the um where the doctors are, and you gotta pee in the cup. Mm. I don't, yeah, and you can tell that there's no real steroids involved because a lot of wrestlers are a lot smaller right. than what back during my time. You know, they look like average people now. They don't look like monsters anymore. You know, and so do I think steroids are still relevant? No, I think that's a day of the past. And not only that, but think about it. Even in society, regular society, you don't see guys like that. You see men's fitness, you know, guys like that, you know, Iron Man kind of like, you know, training, stuff like that. So things are different compared to what they were in the 80s and 90s. You know, you don't really get it no more. I mean, growth was a big thing in the 90s. Um mixed with the steroids that was a big thing you might get people on growth you know but steroids eh, because they can't test for growth growth you can't oh, okay. test for okay steroids you can